Hey guys, it's Marina here. Hey guys, it's Sam. And in today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to style the conch. So if that's what you're interested, hang around to the end of the video and see what pieces we chose for the conch. For those of you who don't know, the conch piercing is that little piercing on the inner part of the ear. It's called the conch because it almost mimics like a conch shell. So that's why it's called that on Sammy's ear, I'll show you. It's kind of like in this little inner part. If you see people who have the hoop that goes around the side of their ear, that's basically where the conch piercing is. And scene. So for the first piece that I really wanted to show you guys today is going to be our three prong clusters. I really love this piece because it goes with the way that the ear curves. It's like a little curved piece. And this works really well in the conch and it also works well in other places of your ear that have a natural curve. So even anything in the mid helix, anything in the tragus would look really, really cute. Especially too, even if you wanna just put it on your lobes, that piece works really great there too. Another great piece that would work really well in the conch is gonna be either the four leaf or the three leaf marquee. If you have kind of a big uh, conch with a lot of room in it, I go for the four leaf marquee, just the way that it goes is really, really beautiful. But if you have a smaller conch, the three leaf marquee would also work. This is our large flower cluster. And what I love about this piece is that it is so big, it takes up so much room. But I do want to leave a warning that not everybody's conch is as big as that can fit this piece. Some conches are a little bit smaller, so for those we like to go with a little bit of more of like a dainty look, just to keep the ear looking nice and fresh and clean and well thought out. So moving on, if you don't really like clusters, if that's not really your thing, I, what I put in the conch right here is a cute little moon stud. Again, I chose this piece because it goes with the curve of the ear, making the piece look intentional for the location. And also, if you want to stick with like a little celestial theme, you can even do like a little star stud right in the helix would look super cute. Or again, anywhere on the ear, the star would look cute. And if you're one of those lucky people who have done a good job healing your conch piercing after around six to eight months, you can change it to a hoop. I always love the yellow gold crystal um, hoops. They're super pretty. If you like a pop of crystal in there, these are perfect. You could even do like a solid gold hoop if like solid gold more matches your vibe or if you needed to create more balance in your ear. I love doing the crunch hoop in the middle and then doing some really cool like studs and clusters on the top of the ear and then even doing like the three lobes right below. It creates a really cool balance to the top and bottom ear and having that hoop going right across like adds the prettiest little touch to the ear. I love it so much. And if you didn't want to go on like the more crystal solid gold route and you like opals, we do have these really beautiful yellow gold and white gold opal hinge rings that you can put in the conch as well. I love the opal one, especially with yellow gold and even the white gold ones too. They're really nice and bright, a little pop of color. If you want to like change up your look, it's a really cool piece to add to your collection. So one last thing that I wanted to mention about the conch is that although this piercing is so fun and so cute, this is on the more difficult side to heal. Sometimes people accidentally end up sleeping on it. That can cause a lot of irritation and even a piercing bump. And we wanna stay away from the very, very, very tiny studs because they, if you end up sleeping on it, you accidentally bump it, your mask catches onto it when you're trying to take it on or off. That can cause irritation, and with a lot of irritation, there is a possibility for the piercing to sink into the skin. So that's why we like to just play it safe with that area and pick either a medium or a large size piece just for the beginning. And then as soon as it's nice and healed up, then we can throw in some tiny, tiny jewelry. But when you initially pierce it, you don't wanna go anything smaller than like a two millimeter crystal or stone, just to make sure it doesn't sink in. But if you wait the six to eight month healing process and you still like the way studs look and you do want a tiny crystal, you can definitely go for 1.5s, but just definitely wait until it's fully healed because if you switch it out too early, you will regret it heavily. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> This little crystal that Sammy put in would be like the 1.5 millimeter crystal. This guy you would want to wait until it's fully healed just so it doesn't sink in while it is healing. But like I said, if you're willing to invest the time and energy to heal your piercing correctly, it will always be worth it. And it looks so pretty, like a little nice dainty touch of crystal, you know? People like the more minimalistic look sometimes, and I think something like this is really beautiful. Nothing too overwhelming, too crazy, but still a very cute little pop. Absolutely. 
All right, guys, so the conch piercing is a pretty straightforward piercing. Um, if you pick the right jewelry, which we do studs first, it's gonna be a really easy healing process for you. We always recommend something cute like clusters just to fill up that space and like do something really flattering to the curve of the ear. If you don't like clusters, a simple stud or dome is really beautiful and like has a nice pop as well. And then if you are doing a good job healing your piercing, after six to eight months, you can definitely get that hoop. You just have to invest a little bit of time and energy. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video today. Again, if you liked any of these pieces, you can shop down the link below. All of the pieces are available for purchase if you'd like. And if you are interested in getting a conch piercing, I would love to help you out. And there's also some other stylists here that can definitely help you get that conch piercing. And we hope to see you soon. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.